What I really loved about this project is it led me to question the primary tenant of engineering, KISS, keep it simple. One of the advantages of 3D printing, one of its many benefits, is free complexity. And that free complexity is largely wasted when all we're doing is prototyping parts that are designed with that KISS mentality. Pyra, this project really exemplifies what you can do with that free complexity. All of these features can be integrated into one part that is extremely complex, more complex than any part that would be made conventionally. This allowed us to create a fully 3D printable lab incubator that can be used for a wide range of applications, such as studying cell growth under unique atmospheric conditions, such as Mars. At the temperatures Pyra produces, it can even be used to cook food and represents a significant milestone in additive manufacturing. Here are some of the notable innovations achieved with Pyra. You typically find metal used to build incubators and ovens because of the high thermal conductivity. And plastic is an insulator. So that means we had to come up with a new way of delivering the heat to the chamber walls. You know, it's a combination of the generative ductwork and the heat exchangers, and then also minimizing the thickness of the wall. And that's just on the geometry side. On the material side, we used uh, high temperature thermoplastics from Stratasys, the Ultem 1010. But using that plastics is what lets us heat up this material up to nearly 200 degrees Celsius, which is nearly 400 degrees Fahrenheit. The conventional approach would be just make a very simple groove. It's a very simple operation in CAD software. Here we did make a keyhole shape, which added a lot more operations to the design, but in the end it results in a much more functional part because the O-ring now stays trapped inside and becomes much more easy to service and maintain. The total printing time of the Pyra actually was a little over five days, total build time. Assembling a working Pyra from parts is about a 20 hour process. The bill of materials is about 20 parts and is a fraction of what would be in a conventionally made incubator. A conventional incubator would easily have several hundred different parts inside of it um, and also involve a lot of assembly work. The ability to build parts that are arbitrarily complex lets us merge and combine what would be normally distinct pieces, reducing both assembly time and errors. One of the significant benefits of 3D printing is the ability for geographically distributed designers to coordinate uh, their activities on a single design. 3D printing is to manufacturing what the internet and free software compilers were for software development. Pi represents a huge step forward into the future of distributed design and complex additive machinery. And it started by questioning some underlying assumptions about how complex we should be making parts. Engineers, I'd like to challenge you to reimagine your designs free of the constraints of traditional manufacturing and embrace the free complexity you get with additive manufacturing.